All right. Shall we? What is this, amateur hour? I'm blacker than the ace of spades and more militant than you and your whole damn army put together. While you out there chanting that rally, browbeating politicians, I'm taking out any money front sucker on a humble that gets in my way. So I tell you what, when your so-called revolution starts, you call me, and I'll be right down front showing you how it's done. But until then, you need to shut the fuck up when grown folks is talking. Now can you dig it? Ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, the world's first Quantimino-powered podcast live from the Daddy Juice Energy Studio in the Beaded Curtain District. Your star plays Gemini Jackson, the Burrito Bandito, Brian McFly, and Arthur Dude. Welcome, welcome, ladies, gentlemen, of course, you scholars. I'm your fearless and greasy host, Gemini Jackson, somewhere in the Quantimino with our resident hyena, Arthur Dude. Howdy, ninjas. The Burrito Bandito. Some dudes. Joins us from this side of the glory hole this time. Ooh. Now, let's get this party started with Double X Quantimino. Quantimino. Welcome to the the champion side of the glory hole. Oh, the other, side. Oh, the other side sucks. I'm in the booth. <laughs> you oh. get it? Yeah. You get it? Well, I thought you guys were on the second oh. side. Ooh. It's all about a matter of perspective. <laughs> Speaking of perspective, we have the 100 Greatest Pop Punk Songs of All Time Part 2, running through 74 through 51. Part 2. Part 2. Do. Do, toi, and cat. Lead the way, burrito. What it do? Oh, okay. I guess starting at 74, we got Alistair somewhere on Fullerton, which was 2002. I'm not familiar with Alistair. I'm only familiar with Alistair because they were at the top of the list of list of pop punk bands. Because they have oh. the name A? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's uh, like getting AAA towing. I also appreciated them because they were named after a character and you can't do that on television. Right. And it was like on their cover picture of Alistair. It would be better if it was Alistair. Like Alistair. S-T-A-I-R. Yeah. Like Fred yeah. Alistair? No, like the Ooh. name Alistair. Is there like a vampire named that? Maybe. I'm sure there is. No, I'm not sure. There's a vampire named pretty much everything. That's true. Music vampire wise, named Edward. Music wise, I thought it was a solid song, but I don't think I'd ever heard it before. Would you, Would you, call you listen it generic? to it again? Huh? Oh, you got the. Go for it. Would you call it generic? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. No hook, catchy. I can't lyric. remember. What, I can't remember what the song what the even hook was. sounds like. Yeah. All right, but this next song. Yes, SR71. Here's right a banger. Now. Classic pop banger. Punk. I'm surprised it's not higher. I list, would say, honestly, you're correct. In, I want to say we have brought this up on an episode before because it was stuck in my head. And I think I got stuck in Gemini's head. Jan- but the lyrics, Jan- Jan- she sticks Jan- to me like cellophane, yeah. fake like plastic <laughs> submarine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that's fucking yeah. lyrics. And they're named after like <laughs> a fucking fighter jet, man. Right. Oh yeah. And now that's over. And or is it a spy plane? Yeah, there you go. That's the hook right Why there. Why you always kick me when I'm high? Hi. Knock me down till we see eye to eye. Maybe may not be this right, but do right now. I think it's she may not be Miss Right, but she'll do right now. All right. Okay. Which is like, right yeah. now. Which is lyrics. That, that, that's some the writing. The song is writing. Someone thought about that. Yeah. She yeah. clings to me like cellophane. Right. Or fake plastic submarine. But in terms of definitive pop punk, we got to respect the genre, you know? Yeah. Don't be bringing in other genres to taint this genre. Right, but that is pop punk. That is yeah. fucking pop yeah. punk. Like, it's diesel. You got the production, you got the lyrics, you got the hooks. Yeah, it the does. Choruses. It has, like, pop punk has to have a hook. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not pop music, you know what I mean? And yeah. that's the pop part of pop punk. But if you strip it down and you just come up with something that's catchy as fuck, that's all you really need. That could be your hook. It could like be a 90 next song. song. The, yep. Well, the fact that we're still singing this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, well, that's, I mean, that, that, we, that we know that. It's yeah. earworms, man. We go down no, to this, this next one, yeah. number Dude. 72, which is a hot fucking song, man. Objectively a hot fucking song. It MXPX, is. Chick Magnet. <laughs> Introduced a generation to scat. Yeah, yeah. Lift it up, boop da tweet up, tweet up. Bop bop ba da do. Lift it up, boop da tweet up, tweet up. Bop bop ba da do. We do 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 do. Ba da da ba da da ba da da ba da da do do. 
a chick magnet. Yeah, do, 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 so do, it had that do, kind do, of like do, do. 60s feel to it. Pop, just you know, sixties music with the bass line and stuff yeah. like that. But then you know, still very punk and rock. Into the and it's good, clean fun too. For I mean, sure. you could play this song in front of your grandma if you wanted to. Yeah, your grandma honestly. would love this song. And you can yeah. go do well, a little dance. Well, he's a chick magnet. If you, and the fucking music video to this. Yeah, got oh, you're yeah. either nerd ass drummer. <laughs> yeah. Like Mac and the chicks had <laughs> like some painted, <laughs> painted like, chest hair. Sharpie's chest hair. <laughs> the logos too. I mean. Oh yeah, you know the, the band I mean, logos, the, the pun. No, no, it was like the chick magnet. You know, yeah. all the mar- marketing for this particular song. It was like a little chick that was a magnet. Yep. And all right. Could, I need know. to find this. I yeah. think I need to own it. So MXPX in general, pop punk band, definitive. You got to put yeah. them in the, like the top twenty, like regardless of any list. Yeah. But this is this is number seventy two on a list. It's insane. Yeah, but yeah. we're going over songs here. But do they in terms appear? Of bands, on this list again. They do. Ooh. Oh. They do. Now I want to think Ooh. about which one it could be, which Ooh. I'm thinking. What's your, uh, let's do some predictions. Some predictions. Yeah. I haven't looked it at this list. It won't be in this. This album, no? This, I was going to say Teenage part. Politics. Oh, no, no. You're saying Teenage Politics? I'm saying Ooh. Move to Bremerton. I was going to say Move to Bremerton yeah. because that's kind of like this, like, like their. It was also an actual official single. I yeah. do really like Teenage Politics. I, oh, I believe. absolutely. I don't know. I think it might be too punk and not pop punk enough yeah. to be high on this list it's a very garage but recording move to bremerton kind of was like yeah their mainstream thing it was a life in general and song. then uh life in general was a banger of an album that is top probably 20 pop, pop, punk, pop albums, punk albums 20 we that. fuck man yeah i would put fuck, it in there man that's a tough one you got 20 though speaking of tough ones come up with our own fallout boy dance dance 2005 this one had a good hook of a bass line, you know? Yeah. I, this, is, this is probably one of my favorite. I got to say, though, songs. I and I'm not a fucking boy. hate the lyrics. <laughs> I, that there's part? so, no. Or the verse You said you know yeah. good yeah. with words, but I'm worse. <laughs> and I'm a lead singer of a fucking multi million dollar band. I think I just like it because you can. The yeah, lyrics, there's, no, yeah, there's no way to listen to it and not move. Yeah, you know it is gonna make you. Time. It is gonna make catchy. you dance, dance. Yeah, but the lyrics are so cringe to me. It, it does sound <laughs> like it's moving more in the direction of emo, though. At this point, absolutely, yeah, for sure. For yeah. sure, it doesn't really have the pop punk punkiness to it. It's very much like kind of an alternative song, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. versus like a punk song. Yeah, but Fall Out Boy falls in that category of pop punk band. So for sure, I mean, respect. this is their graduation and sound. Yeah, you know what this reminds me of? Like when you're talking about linguistics, sometimes we bring mm. it up. But you know, we talk you about like I, yeah, you I might. Bring it up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like like vowel shifts that happen when like in English when things used to be pronounced a certain way and then uh-huh. panorai. Like ax. Yeah, panorai. Yeah, yeah. It, that should, kind of stuff. it used to, like ask. Really used to be ax. Oh. AKS. Okay. So what are you but, saying we're fucking up? Well, no, no, no. I, th- I think this is what's happening shifts. with pop punk. Like it's it conflating. shifted from, it's all the same people, all the same bands, but they shifted from punk and shifted more into like If they were, yeah, emo. if they yeah. started like in the pop punk era, even yeah. maybe even before, but to keep the trends, they yeah. integrated to that stay on into the, their on sound. On top of the charts, yeah. Into their sound. Yeah. Yeah. Into their sound. Yeah. It's an evolution. Yeah. If you want to maintain. Right. We talk about mainstream genres yeah. and, and the shelf life of a mainstream genre. Yeah. I'd say about Three. four to six years. Yeah. And then the next mainstream genre takes its place. Right. So these bands, they've lasted for so long, but as they've put out albums in those times of certain mainstream genres, they'd have to modify their sound. Yeah. I don't think it happened to all of them, but it definitely happened. Mm-hmm. You know? Speaking of emo. Yeah. Dude. However... Yeah. This next one. Go ahead. Tell, tell them what it is. Number 70, My Chemical Romance, I'm Not Okay, in parentheses, I Promise, 2004. This one, even though everyone pretty much thinks of My Chem as an emo band. This song is not. This is straight pop punk. Like Straight it's, it's pop punky. punk. It's super punky. It got, it's got the do good drums. Yeah. It's got the fucking hook. It has the BPMs. Uh-huh. There is the hook. There's diesel in there. It's got the whole love story thing going on about uh, it, yeah. which is Love a story, but theme. not like yeah. emo love story. Not like I'm going to kill myself. It has some catchy fucking lyrics at, in the at, verses. Towards the end, he sort, he's, he's like, oh, maybe I'm emo about this. Yeah. You know, but... Trust yeah. me! I'm not okay! I'm not okay! Yeah, exactly. I'm not okay! I'm not okay! Right there. 
<laughs> so this song you wear me out. Yeah. That was actually really good. Thanks, man. <laughs> I love that song. So this song was on Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, which was the record before their big one, mm-hmm. Black Parade. Yeah. And with a titular track. Yeah. So this was the first single I heard from Mike Hem or that I liked. They right. actually mm-hmm. had like another single before that. Was a little too vampire-y for me, or something like a little too goth for me. So I was just like, "Will you I'm clean up your looks?" Oh no, no, that's that's, that's Black yeah. Parade. That's Black Parade. This yeah. is also the Make first the citizen of out of three songs you. that My Chemical Romance has on this list. Dan, they made wow. the emo band My Chemical Romance. Make some predictions. Has three percent of Obviously, the tracks. Obviously, Welcome to the Black Parade. But again, we're going through sound evolution. I don't think Welcome to the Black Parade belongs on a pop. No, that's punk like list. a rock opera. Almost. But I feel like it's on here. Don't spoil it. Okay. And then the other song is maybe that song, Teenagers, that you were singing. Yeah, that, that is a pop punk song. Fuck. That is a nah, pop dude, song. I feel like that's like an alternative song. <laughs> you know, the you know? drugs never work. Yeah. It's it's like very like mid. Anthemic like almost. The tempo is way too slow for pop punk. Yeah. All right. Next song. I'm not familiar with Boys Like Girls. I love the greatest the game. 2007. But I'm not familiar like, with them. Um, you were the I, only one who listened to this track. I only remembered the hook. And it's the How only thing that, that's recognizable. It's like, sing it. Throw it away. I can't remember what it sounds like, actually. The radio. Throw it away. For, forget it away. Yes, it says, throw it away. Forget yesterday. Throw it away. Forget yesterday. Yeah. I hate yeah, that. that song. Yeah. I'm not, I don't like that song e- that much. Every other part around that, uh-huh. I'm just like, I don't remember. <laughs> How's the tempo? It's it's pop punk. Yeah, it's so definitely pop punk. But it's radio friendly, right? Oh yeah, extremely yeah. Radio, radio friendly. Yeah. All right. Next up, ultimate oh, pop punk band. Yeah. <laughs> Number sixty-eight. NFG. Newfound glory. Hit or miss. Two thousand. Yeah. Hit or miss. Is this the one that starts off with the bass line? Hit or miss. They have so many fucking songs. Yeah. How yeah. many times do they show up, Brito? They are on the list twice. Oh, All wow. right. Respectable. Their other song would be, I bet this motherfucker oh. picked a cover song. Oh, you mean they have two songs? Yeah. You think it was a? Hmm. I bet he did because this I mean is, they. Because... This is one of two songs on the list. Oh yeah. I love the song. I think the song that should Shoot. be higher is uh, "My Friends Over You." Yeah, that would be the song, and yeah. I actually think that's the answer because I saw that. So uh, you can tell us, burrito. It's yeah, "My Friends Over You." That, that's oh, the song. I got it. Yeah. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. But now we got refreshed. Not this yeah. episode, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this song. This song is good. Is on that album, the self-titled album. That You're is like bangers always from the beginning kill. to the end, dude. That no, record, you can just push play and let it be it like is a the pop punk anthem album of pop punk albums. Yeah, it is a banger. I don't want to get into all the other songs and stuff Speaking like that. Speaking of banger, on the song, <laughs> you found we go. Boy. We dip back into emo for number sixty-seven. Yeah, Taking back Sunday, make damn sure. You got your new cat filled up with smoke. I got my fan. No, that's not that one. That is that song. Oh, yeah. To the jukebox bars, you hide in the safest place to hide. Also, the a first of, night spent with of you two songs, songs on this list. <laughs> You've been shaking at the sun. You are everything <laughs> I want, cause you are everything I'm not. <laughs> It is definitely an emo fucking song. <laughs> yeah. Do you hear those goddamn lyrics? <laughs> so emo. I can't help but like them though. Yeah. You know? How so, many times does TBS show up on the list? They're they're on twice. Twice. All right. The oh, other song. Cute, was, without yeah, the e. it's cute without the E. Oh, cute yeah. without the E. Come yeah. from the team. Obviously. Obviously. Excellent. Her lipstick you call. Yeah. Don't bother Rachel. I know exactly what, what goes on. on. Yeah. That, we'll sing it more later. That sound, man. Yeah. Was, I love that It's shit. fucking nitroglycerin, That's dude. That's when it started that whole like two-singer thing, but we'll get there. We'll talk about it yeah. when it comes around. Yeah. Next band I'm not familiar with. Same. Mayday Parade. Before. Jamie Oliver, 2007. Yeah, was, Mayday Parade. Definitely oh, Jamie Oliver. Also. Oh? Jamie Oliver, the <laughs> Naked Chef, right? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Oliver. Why not? Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver. Maybe all their songs are titled like that, which would suck. Yeah, I mean, Panic at the Disco kind of did that shit. All named after after chefs. Celebrity chefs. (laughs) Ming Tsai. That's your Bobby next Flay. Flay. That's who you came up with next was Minx. Dude, I grew up, <laughs> man. Fuck what y'all. Up, I, I, look, 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 look. I know he's like not everybody's favorite, but damn, I watched the fuck out of that guy Bruno, growing up. Next celebrity chef, call it. Masaharu Morimoto. Morimoto. The Iron Chef, Iron chef himself. Yeah. Damn. 
My stupid ass would have said Gordon Ramsay. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he true. is probably the most famous. Yeah. yeah. So you're not wrong. Bobby Flay, you said him third, right? I said Bobby uh, Flay. Uh, who, who's going to take, who's gonna take me down to Flavortown? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guy Fieri. Guy yeah. fucking Fieri. Yeah. Guy Fieri is a mensch. He's not a chef to me, though. He is just like a TV personality. Oh. He's got a lot of restaurants. I know, but chef. like He started ooh. as a chef. Or Gemini's favorite, Jada De La Renta. Oh, oh shit. Jesus Christ. Let's just have a moment I had a her. big fucking crush on that bitch. Ooh. I always felt her head was too big for yes, her body. that was kind of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> she got a wiry neck. And I don't I'll, know why I like the that. The things she would head. cook, I'm like, how do you stay like that when you're cooking this shit? It was always like greasy yeah. Italian dishes. Hella Chop, chop some more things. Yeah. I mean, Let's melt it's more like, cheese. You should look like Rachel Ray, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> We're way off the rails, oh, yeah, guys. So oh, yeah, Mayday yeah, yeah. Parade. You're the only one who's heard this song. Uh, it's definitely an emo yeah. song. Um, oh. And I mean, it was, it was okay. Uh, it says, equipped with one of the best hooks in modern pop punk, true Oh, or no! Oh, god damn. What's the hook? Did I... Do I have to I run through the hook? missed it. We yeah. have to run through the hook. If there's no hook, it's they're, not a pop only, punk song. There are only once on this list. Yeah, they shouldn't be mm. even on this list. Yeah. Especially size 66, unless this is literally the best pop punk hook <laughs> in modern pop punk. He did have to come up with 100 songs, though, so he's probably started digging. Yeah, but there's like no... I mean, there's a lot of other... Fun- a sad day. <laughs> you know that Las Vegas. I hate this song. I hate this song. So, so hold on. Pause it really quick. So, in the middle of the song, he says, uh, <laughs> "I can't even remember anymore because I've changed the lyrics it's in my trash. no, no, no. I changed the lyrics. I changed the lyrics in my head to say, oh my ass, oh my ass.' <laughs> skip there. Yeah. So get there. All right. I'm gonna skip around. Help me out. That's fucking hilarious. No, you gotta listen to that part. This part? Yeah, because it sucks. I don't want to listen to something. You have to. Is this a part of the experience? Pre-chorus? Yeah. All right, here we go. No, not yet. It's after this. See, verse. this came off as like knockoff dashboard to me. Mayday Parade. Is that, about this? I mean, it's after dashboard. It is after dashboard, but they it's were too hard dashboard. trying to sound like him. You know what I'm saying? Here. Wait, where the fuck's the chorus? It's coming. This is the verse, man. Sorry. Oh, There's a. It's two verses before the chorus. Wow. It's edging you. Yeah. Me this is an edging kind of song. <laughs> and you'll end up with Jamie Oliver. Here's the pre-chorus. This is like an acoustic version. This is off their channel. This is not... So, this is not the, this is not the version. So is there like an electronic version? There's an electric, electric guitar version. Mis- the original version is like oh, a... Oh, here, here. Let's do it. I, I think I found it. Sorry. See? Um, there's no yeah. grit. This is the version. Vegas. That was our acoustic tour version. Yeah. Yeah. We're this tired is of a, walking around. Yeah. Amps. This is us going to a, NPR's Tiny Desk. Yeah, the Tiny <laughs> Desk concert. <laughs> Hosted by Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wish. <laughs> Wouldn't that be badass if you got that gig? Oh my gosh. I'd do it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It's a team. None to the right. Here it comes. Doing the two voice thing. Two singer thing. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah. That's an that's a emo. He's saying, all I ask, all I ask. But I've changed it in my head to be, ow my ass, ow my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I feel like that's stuck with you more than us. Yeah, big time. Uh, apparently, this familiar. that is one of the best hooks in modern pop punk. Um, that to me is not that much man. of a did, hook. Did, did they say modern pop punk? Yeah, as, as, as oh, like, like qualifier. Yeah, so uh, like, a weasel be, word. It's after two thousand. Yeah, what probably. What okay. was our cutoff time? Oh four. We said oh four, yeah. but yeah, yeah. That, that would be post pop punk at that point. Speaking Anyways. of post pop punk. Yeah, speaking of yeah. post pop number sixty five, Olivia Way Rodrigo. Post. Good number four. You. 2021. 2021. 2021. What do you think? That was last year. I hate the production on this song because it was made in 2021. You think I, it should sound better? Yeah, or more produced, like get one of the Lord Algies to make How does it, it go? Something. How does it go? I, I'm I don't not sing this shit. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Ah, was it good? Did you enjoy it at least? Was it good for you? Yeah, I th- it was good for me. Okay. This ain't mm. the uh, arena to be talking about this Olivia Rodrigo <laughs> shit. We're old men. Yeah. Unless Brian was here, he'd be like, she's cute. <laughs> Just kidding. Coming, clocking in at 64, Motion City Soundtrack, Everything is Alright, which is a banger. Uh, that song is a banger. It has a moog. 
Moog? Yep. We're going there? A Moog. Tell me that you're all right. And, and everything, everything is all right. right. Oh, please tell me that you're all right. And everything is all right. Motion City soundtrack There's was so the, much fun. At the time, the only Epitaph band that sounded like that. Yeah. Where it was like that kind happy. of happy pop punk. But like everything is, they sing about is depressing. Yeah. Are they on here more than once? They are. Okay, they, so the other one is, one. I know the other one. What's the other one, Gemini Jackson? Um, oh, wait, there's a lot. Fuck. It could be, let's get fucked up and die, oh, which is yeah. a good one. <laughs> which is actually named with the letters. So yeah. it's like L G F U A D. I'm speaking figuratively, of course. Oh, no, it's, um, fuck. So this band is funny. You guys saw them live, right? Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I think I have. And what's your memorable yeah. thing other the than the hair. dude's hair? Other than <laughs> the dude's hair, <laughs> hair. About the band's performance that you're always like, it sticks in your head for Motion City soundtrack. The dude's mm-hmm. hair. Nothing? Oh. Yeah. The keyboards? Yeah, the Mo guy would always do like the jump thing where he's doing like kind of yeah. like a vertical yeah. push-up. Oh, yeah, he yeah. kicks his feet yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay, dude. <laughs> okay, so Motion City soundtrack. What's the other one? I always kind of get them mixed up with Midtown, also, just because they start with the names. name, the name, yeah. but but they don't uh, sound. I mean, they don't really sound. They don't sound alike at all. Everything is all right. Oh man! So the next song we have, yeah. And while you think, about I'll think it, about it, and we'll come to it. No use for a name. Nineteen ninety five Soulmates. I think they're Soulmate. on here more than once. Are they three Let's times? See. No if use. this is the only time they're on here, they're only on here once. Wow! <gasps> With Soulmate, they left off Justified Black Eye. They left off May sixteenth. Mm-hmm. They no, that's Lagwagon. <laughs> oh, May sixteenth yeah. is on this list. It is. Spoiler yeah. alert! Spoiler alert! No use for a name, Soulmate. I don't know if I know this song. It's about to play, but I know I, no use. I didn't has... know it. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Okay. That's right. This that's is right. a fucking that's banger. banger. <laughs> this is a banger. Okay, I'm sorry. I just oh, didn't dude. know it was called fucking Woo! soulmate. Yeah, here we go. Right here. Tuesday morning. I think we're still on Monday. <laughs> of a stupid line yeah. on a from '95. Yeah. Yeah. It is a banger. This is when Fat Records was recruiting the Only best. Me, more than you. It wasn't anything. I love the cover of the album. It. It's called Leche con Carne, and it yeah. has a dude in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Companion. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Stuck by your side since you were born. This is a banger. This is a fucking banger. I love that song. Yeah, I love that song. And yeah. definitely has well, that pop pump song. Yeah. Pop okay, so oh, if they were uh, only to sound. pick one No Use for a Name song for this list, that's the one. I always felt like No Use for a Name is the band if but Bad Religion was good. If <laughs> if Unwritten Law didn't exist. <laughs> This is a show that does not like bad religion. Just putting that out there. Yeah. All right. Next we have Jawbreaker. I like uh, I like one bad religion song. Which one? And I only like it. I like quite a few. The Grey every Ways. now and then. Okay. No. I'm the only one here. Father, that, uh-huh. can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> what have I become? That's what I don't like about bad religion. I took the day that I was born. And all the sorrow in this world. Before you go too far on that, Gemini <laughs> Burrito, is bad religion on this list at all? They are. Damn it! <laughs> they put you to the hurting ground. I want to talk They're about the next your, song. They're on here twice. Wow. Anyway. Next song yeah. is Jawbreaker. Want. All right. 1990. Excellent choice of an yeah. older Jawbreaker song. Yeah. But it has the hook. The chorus goes, I want you, but he's like, I, 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 I want you. No? I don't know it. Okay. Let me play a little bit. I just want to play that one hook and tell me if it's a hook to you or not. But fair warning. Burritos heard it. Recorded in 1990. Oh, yeah. Well, I heard it a while back. Oh. Well, yeah. he did his homework is all I, I wanted to say. I was doing my homework on Friday. Do you know the hook I'm talking about? I think he goes, I, 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 I mean, it, it I, may have been, I, 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 I want you. you. No? It, it, it may have only been the second time that I heard it. Oh, cool bass line at the beginning, you know? This is definitely like classic sound of punk pop punk to where it didn't like, have that much yeah, bass this is more of this like an punk. alternative song to me just because of the like the tempo it's not the punk tempo it sounds like the beginning of this sounds a lot like blink 182 yeah. like the beginning of a blink song yeah. i love this song very garage recording mm-hmm. and the hook is in the chorus where a hook should be and he has those gritty vocals love this shit the and the name Jawbreaker is a banger of a fucking name. The only name. thing that doesn't sound pop punk to me is his is his voice. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the Dickie Barrett of pop punk. 
They're, they're, Jawbreaker's actually on, on this list twice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Let me guess the next song. Is it Boxcar? No. Ah. All right. I'll keep guessing. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Is it Boxcar? <laughs> it's like the only other poppy <laughs> punk song I can think of. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, wait. They got to do one more verse, and then they'll get into the chorus. Your favorite accident is the other Motion City soundtrack song. I thought that was a Jawbreaker song. He said you were an accident! <laughs> no, it's not. What? Oh, it's not huh. yeah. And it's not Let's Get Fucked Up and Die, right? Nope. Wow. 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 Is it off Commit This to Memory? Is it Commit This to Memory? Oh, yeah. Is that nope. the name of a song? Yeah, that is the name of a song. It, comes, it came out before the one we just listened to. Everything is already wow. before that? Oh, I wouldn't know that. Is it on the same album, though, as that song? No, because they were released different years. Oh, I didn't hear the chorus. No, it's right here. A little breakdown. Let's think about it. Bring that bass line back. Just so dirty, I like it. I, 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 I want you. The thing about, like, punk rock music is, like, you don't have to be able to sing. Right. Yeah. But you just true. have to, like, be able to interject your emotions like yeah. you just have to let your emotions come out yeah and they just have to hit right right and that's it this is coming from the soul like it's yeah coming from inside yeah it's not because you were born with a talent it's yeah. because like you wanted to because express you had yourself this, in this exactly way. you had this fierce creativity yeah and you just picked up a guitar you learned four chords and met then you went guys. yeah met one a couple plays guys drums, the other one plays bass the other one sells weed yeah <laughs> One thing is that they actually regrouped Jawbreaker. Oh, yeah? This is like, you know, 2020s. And so it's like 30 years later kind oh, of thing. shit. <laughs> you know, 60 year old oh, Jawbreaker. Yeah, trying to play these songs, you know? And the video I was watching of them performing was like a good quality video, but the fucking bass player was fucking up. Like, he forgot the songs and they didn't practice. <laughs> He's old. I was like, God damn they're it. Old. But they're performing Give for money. Fuck. Come Give on. a fuck. <laughs> for money. Now that's stuck in my head. Coming in at number 61. We got Bowling for Soup. Can I play the riff at the beginning and we can be like, yeah. Girl, all the bad guys want. Is Bowling for Soup on here multiple times? I don't know that they should be. Checking, checking. They are not. Okay. So yeah. this is their only appearance with Girl, all the so. bad guys yeah. want. I would say, yeah, it is a great opening hook. Riff. Guitar riff. riff. Yeah, yeah, and it does, have, it does have a nice ver uh, chorus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very catchy. He's the girl yeah. on the bad guys want. They were doing that production kind of like the lit album. The big it is very th- lit. Thuddy palm chug, meeting. Chug, chug, yeah, chug, 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 chug. Yeah. And the lyrics are like fun. Like Stacy's mom's yeah. quality fun. No, Stacy's mom is... Is Stacy's mom on here by any chance? No, no, no. They're only on here once. That's why I asked. No, but Stacy's mom's by Fountains of Wayne. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These guys I get, cover I get Stacey's, I get All the Fountains of Wayne. Singers. I get uh, Sta- uh, Fountains of Wayne <laughs> Balling and Bowling for Sue mixed up. Listen. I love that shit. Like a bad movie. Yeah. Through me. See, again, love theme. You know, we're like, mm-hmm. gotta get that girl. This is back when, you know, dudes and girls, dudes could chase girls and not get in trouble. You know what I'm it's saying? It's true. Like, we could be saying some stuff about women and then, the girl that all the bad guys want would that fly in today's like singles yeah like what you hear on the radio hits yeah, I, don't I don't know think so. yeah you I don't think so. it's on edge enough I mean like when you start talking about like harassment I mean they're bad guys right yeah but I mean like they're not necessarily they're not necessarily so like the theme is like these guys are shitty dudes but like they want to be with this girl who's like a nice girl so they're like I'll change myself for you baby yeah but you're taking like a a single of a song like a song that gets a lot of attention and putting the attention on the bad guys you know what i'm saying yeah like, hey maybe the guys listening to this want to be bad guys too so maybe can, they, they can like girls like that too i would love to love love a girl well like that gemini jackson you as- are the bad guy come on <laughs> I'm the bad guy. Why are you trying guy? to explain yourself out of this wee, box? Wee, I, I can wee, see this. Wee. Was this in a movie? Because I can see this being in yeah. a movie. Oh, yeah. Soundtrack? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. teen movies? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah, great production, but it does use the, like, chunky guitar sound and the very fat, compressed drums. Like, yeah, but, like, lit. that's very of the time. It's of the time, yeah, for sure. But... A lot of this pop punk stuff, though, of this time, I always felt was like industry plants. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you have to go through agencies. Yeah. They didn't yeah. just find yeah, you it playing was a concert I mean, in your tiny but town. But across all music, they were starting to do that. Like, 2000 kind of fucked up music. It was like 
Boy band of punk. Shh. Rap metal. Yeah. Rap metal. <laughs> I like metal. that rap metal. But yeah, Bowling for Soup. Coming in times, on top of them. Industry plants. Number 60, We the Kings. Check Yes Juliet. Anyone familiar with this yes. before they saw it on this? Yes. All right, sing it, Gemini. Pretty intimately. Oh, Check no. Check Yes Juliet, are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard this song, uh, to be honest. I'm run, not that baby, big. run. Yeah. yeah. Run, baby, run. <laughs> Don't no. ever let go. I'm hating it. Hey. They'll tear us apart oh, no. if you give them the chance. Is this an accurate representation, Hang ladies heart, and gentlemen? Hit us up. SlamCityRadio.com. <laughs> run, baby, run. Whatever Pop will punk, be. Yes or no? It's, you and me. Uh, it's I mean, teetering on emo, but it does yeah. have pop punk like tempo. Yeah, teetering I, on emo. The, I think that the the chorus is definitely pop punk. Pop punk. Yeah. Run, baby, run. That, that part. Yeah. Don't ever. It's kind of. Yeah. But it's, tell me about the guitar sounds. It's pop punk. Okay. Yeah. There's an acoustic version too. I saw that. Yeah, but like, don't worry about that. I get mixed up. After uh, that. Oh, were you going to play it? I don't know. Do you want to hear it acoustic? No. <laughs> Coming in at 59, <laughs> we have a day to remember. All signs point to Lauderdale. This is past my time. Yeah, I feel like the We Are The yeah. Kings, the day to remember, like this 20, 2007 to say 2012 or something. I don't something. have any radar on it. Yeah. So, All Burrito, fans. fill us in. I don't. I think this is where my... I don't have notes for that Let's one. Let's just skip to the next one, man, no, because no, no, you can no. talk Do about you it. Do you remember it all? A day to no, remember? No. I don't remember. You don't remember a I day to remember? I remember the Obviously. day. Okay. Yeah. All signs point to Lauderdale. Let's just skip that and go to fucking number 58. One of the best ska, ska bands ska, ever. Ska punk <laughs> outfits less than Jake. All my friends are metalheads from 2000. That's not the name of the act. That's not the actual name of the song. Oh! Yeah, it is. It's really? All my best friends are metalheads. Oh! We I'm need a redaction and a oh. retraction. We need a fucking edit. Yep. You we know, need a, we think... need an H4 slash T to burrito. <laughs> yeah, burrito is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. That's right. That's, That's all right, right, man. We forgive you, writer. All my friends are all my best friends are metalheads. All right, is Less Than Jake on here? Multiple just times? once. I think it's just once. Yeah, it's just once. Oh my god. Less than Jake but is more I guess, of a ska punk band yeah, than a pop yeah. punk band. So that's why I don't think they're on here multiple if times. Automatic. Is that a ska song? Yeah, it does have it has horns, strokes, super and it has horns. horns. But I feel like if it has horns, it could not be ska. But that's definitely a ska. I, song. I mean, this this, this one just has much horns. Fucking, this record, the, this the Hello this Rock View. Yeah, it is. It's this one. Oh, the Hello Rock View is definitely more. Punky than ska, right? Yeah, because yeah. they only had their automatic is not on this. No, that's on the one before it. Lucky strike, lucky streak, uh, yeah, yeah. lucky streak, losing streak, losing streak. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was like the guy with the horseshoe that yeah, fell on his yeah. head. He's like, yeah. he's like a. Oh, it's on the it's on the other ear. <laughs> We're only in mono. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> that's why you don't. You think it's strange uh. that there's a way. How you looking? How you acting? How you think things and they're not the same as you. See, this is just yeah. as, as ska. I don't think it's pop punk, though. This is just as ska as no, automatic. This, this song is definitely, yeah. Just as ska as automatic. And I would argue that automatic is a better pop punk Let's song. justify automatic here, guys, because, you know. Yeah, that's what things the, are automatic when you see them every day. Every day. Is it the same routine or just some fucked up dream that keeps walking mindless all the way? There's your pop punk beat. It's, that's dictionary definition that's what I'm of saying. pop punk. Yeah. It just, it's a pop punk song with upstrokes here that's, and horns. Yeah. It's a little op ivy, you know, just doing the uh, mixing the sky with pop punk sounds. Thing, uh-huh. But listen what? to his voice. That's I love so his pop voice. punk. Dude. Yeah. It's better than Jake. No, his name's Jake. Okay. Better. Every day is it the same routine Or just a fucked up dream That keeps you walking Mindless all the way I can I say I know it all Yeah Beliefs. So we're replacing All my friends are metalheads With Wait. automatic <laughs> I, would, I, don't, I, would, I would argue That automatic is a better pop punk song Than all my friends All my best friends are metalheads Absolutely Gemini Jackson All my best friends are metalheads Is a fucking ska song We need to start an editorial on this shit I yeah. guess we're already in one Next we got... Bouncing Souls, another fucking ska band. Yeah. 
with True Believers 2001. Tell us about this song, Burrito. I don't know if I know this one. I didn't write any notes. So being familiar with Bouncing Souls is like a ska punk band, uh-huh. and then True Believers making this list, I always feel like, and I think it says it somewhere in the text, that this is one of those doesn't normally sound like them songs. Finally drew mm. mainstream attention as pop punk took off. Oh, I know this song. <laughs> Takes one note. I can name this pop punk song in one note. We were playing that game. Yeah. Oh, really? Like one note though? No, not one note. We should play was... that. I should sample like little bits and see if you guys can name that tune. It was, That'd be fun. Um, like but it was string, it was string covers. Yeah. String covers? Yeah, vitamin string quartet. Like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like. But that a lot stuff. of them you could get it like that. Right. Because yeah. it's that good. True believers. Hey! Is that the hook? We are the true believers. Yeah. They got the anthem thing going. It is kind of anthemic. Very. All right, a couple questions about this song in relation to other songs coming up. Number 56. Th- is the bruise on here? Bad Religion. We can skip this song. No, <laughs> what? Are you, uh, Bad Religion, Suffer, from 1988. Is this a pop punk song? I, I would say I no. I don't think so. I uh, don't know this song, my, but I would say my 1988. My notes this just say WTF. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is probably just a punk rock song. No, I'm familiar with this song. Uh, I'm not familiar with the song. I don't know this song. This is not a pop punk song. This is Suffer by Bad Religion. This is just punk. This is like, yeah. This is quintessential punk sound. Forgot the word pop in the. And I think, like, the chorus probably sounds a lot like the verse. Bad Religion's on here twice. Wow. Uh, What? Yeah. No. We're going to start correcting this list. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. I feel it. Number 55 from, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. Number 55, Reliant K, Be My Escape. I do know this That's song. Yeah, Reliant K is only on here once. As well, they should be. They're pretty high for being Reliant K. Well, they're pop punk. Yeah, but. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't think this song should be on there. Yeah. What song this do you song's think should be on emo, there? I, feel I like. think the song that should be on there is Sadie Hawkins' Dance. Oh. That that is. Is there a hook this in this song, song, or am I going to Sadie Hawkins? Go to Sadie Hawkins, because the hook is, "I'm begging you, I'm begging you to be my escape." Oh no, I hate that. I'm giving up. I'm giving up slowly. The "Be My Escape" is one of their most popular songs. I think it's the most listened to on Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. I like the name of this album that uh, the song Sadie Hawkins dances on. Do you remember the album title? I don't remember what it's called. The Anatomy of the Tongue in Cheek. Oh, okay. oh. good job, guys! Right. All right, this is pop punk as fuck right here. If it has that, yeah. yeah, you gotta do the lead. Yeah, the melodic lead, I would call it. Mm. Yeah, I like this one way better. And and totally, uh, like it could be in a teen movie also. But, oh shit! Yeah, that's, that's kind of a, a classification. This is 2004, so it falls into that year range of teen movies overlapping with pop punk. Yeah. All right. It's got that yeah, same kind no, of see, voice, even the voice yeah. here is more pop monkey. In that song, it's pretty soft. Yeah. Listen to this shit. Khaki fucking pants. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I would say that's a better hook than <laughs> Am I ass? Am I ass? <laughs> the one that Gemini canceled by whom? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Following up, we have 2011 came out swinging by The Wonder Years. I'm I not like familiar the with the years. Wonder Years. I like the show. Yeah. Yeah. Winnie Cooper. Woo. Right? But the Wonder Years was, see, it's 2011, so it's like way past, you know, but I think they just had that kind of generic radio friendly pop punk sound uh-huh. going. Yeah. Produced in that way. Yeah. Well, got Burrito, do you remember this one? It. I don't. Is it playing right now? Yeah. It's, oh, okay. It's taking a while to kick in. Fucker's got his feedback. Like, dude. Moves on my shit. Kind of has the pop punk lyrics. I'm into it. A little it. too hard to be pop punk though. Yeah. It's almost like, like Taking Back Sunday, like post yeah. hardcore almost. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But like no, but like 2011. The, remember they the got voice. Adjust. The voice is post hardcore, but the music is pop punk. Yeah. Tempo. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it. And there oh, you go. Got the whoa whoa. Whoa. Classified. Whoa. It checks enough boxes. So this <laughs> next jam, I would not have put the song on here. 
but I think he probably put it on for the notoriety. Also, Green Day is on here multiple times. They should be. They are on here. They should they... be on here at least three times. Do you remember the previous one? Yeah. Welcome to paradise. They were on at 94, Welcome to Paradise. So yep. this one is their second of four appearances. Yeah, wow. I was going to say at least three. Yeah. Green Day, Jesus of Suburbia, an eight-minute song. This is their medley of a song on American... One of the two medley of songs on yeah. American Idiot. You know, I, I didn't care for them after American Idiot. You like their songs. It feels way heavier to me. If I me. said it's the end of September and then you started seeing the memes, would the song go through your head? Yes. It has to. Oh. Jo- Wake me yeah. up when oh. September yeah. That's American Idiot. But yeah, I don't like that song. <laughs> you don't have to. My notes next to this song, Jesus of Suburbia, says, Longest Green Day song, <laughs> good grief, it's like nine minutes long. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's three songs stitched together. Oh, yep. is it? Is that what it is? It's a medley. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So it's not just one song. And the funny thing about this song, though, is that it had a video to accompany it. So there was like the extra long music video, yeah. which you didn't see very often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because no one's going to play a nine-minute yeah. music Other video. Other than Punk. Yeah. I don't really care for this song. <laughs> I see that they compare it to Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, which that's fair. Kind of. Kind of. Hmm. I'm feeling it. It's fine. Next this we have... This generation's Bohemian Rhapsody. Nice. Something corporate. Punk rock princess. You can be my punk ro- This is definitely industry plant music. <laughs> <laughs> Something corporate. Bullshit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I wasn't How does this into it. Punk rock princess. Trying to find the hook. Yeah. 2003, you know. It's in the window, but the it's window. definitely like with a lot of conflation in the industry. Something corporate was that band that had the piano player. He play a lot of like ballad type things on piano. Uh-huh. Their big one was uh Constantine. You remember that song by any chance? No. That was like emo as fuck. Mm. Anyways, Punk Rock Prince is when they were still trying to sound like pop, pop punk. punk. Yeah, and when the record label they told definitely them, turned into emo, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. No, everyone kind of did. Something corporate is also they were like a drive through band. Oh, really? Remember drive through records, New yeah. Glory mm-hmm. did like first dashboard album. There's like a lot of drive through bands, but yeah, something corporate was in their wheelhouse. You got your Marshall sounding guitars powered by Gibson. Full chords, right? I'm not liking this. Oh, yeah. You could be my punk rock princess. I could be your something queen. Do you have any notes there, Burrito? No, I don't. It's pretty generic. Yeah, yeah. it's generic. Sorry for, like, inflating him so much. I just knew some things about something corporate. Hey, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. You can inflate this next band all you want. Blink-182 shoes. All the small things. All the Da-doom. small things. I was feeling this song would be much higher on the chart. Yeah, because you have a soft spot for this song. Their better song is obviously What's My Age Again, if That's we're talking about one. pop punk songs. How many yeah, times so do they is, show up? This is they're on here four times, right? Yeah, they're also on here four times. Yeah, wow. I was going to say, if we have two pop punk kings, they're one of them. Green Day and Blink-182 mm-hmm. are the pop punk kings. Mm-hmm. All right. Before we get too much into all the small things, what other Blink-182 songs do you think is on here? Damn It. Damn It would definitely be on there. Yeah. Carousel. No, no you, shot. You wouldn't that's, think? That's no shot. Punky, I yeah. think. Oh, man. Before they... Yeah, and it doesn't have like pop punk. Yeah, it doesn't have the pop punk yeah. sound. It's a good song. It kind of does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does a like CG. AF no, 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 but like riff. Is the chorus hookier than the verse? Mm, not really. It has a cool bass line at the beginning. <laughs> okay, but it's not like. You're missing the pop element. Yeah, the pop punk thing. I, yeah. I feel yeah. You're missing you're the right. pop element. It is more punk. It is more like California punk. You know, yeah. just not trying to make a pop song out of it. This song was produced to fuck. Oh Da-doom. yeah. No, that album, Enema of the State. Da-doom. Da-doom. Enema of the know? State is like produced as fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll introduce throw these the out. world mainstream media to Janine Lindemore, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so they, they've been on the list before at number 80 with The Rock Show. Which right. I and don't now really we're at all song. the small things. Yeah. And then there's two more. The other thinking, ones. Damn it and. What's my age again? Yeah. Damn it and what's my age again? All right. You guys want spoilers? No, because I know yeah. damn it's not on here, is it? Well, now we're over, dude. Do okay. you want any spoilers? Nope. We can spoil them later. That was the top 100 greatest pop punk songs, 74 through 51. We now move on to BNN's dating advice. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, sorry. 
dating advice in a vending machine? Question mark. Dating service. Oh. Why do you keep saying advice? I don't know why. Because <laughs> it just it doesn't seem like you get service from a vending machine. I don't even know. You, it's like a quarter turn. You just put your dick in and you get serviced. <laughs> You think that's something we could create? Like a glory hole vending machine? Yes, a glory hole vending machine, like mechanized. Ooh, I it would had, imagine it, those have it machine existed. learns like cocks, so it knows the best way to pleasure them. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Kinda like uh, it's like laser prosthetics yeah. and AI and stuff like that. Yeah, it has like lidar and shit. Lidar, <laughs> it's got fucking lidar, yeah. and it's sterile because it always switches. Like you know, it's like kind yeah. of putting on like it's a body a condom. condom. Yeah, yeah. You just and then it gets like. Tossed after it gets used. Yeah. First, they like spray your dick down with shit first, <laughs> and then they slip the condom on there. Then it sucks they? you off. Or like, do you got to prep yourself or no, does it prep you? You can prep yourself as much as you want. Do you still want the vending machine concept? Because at this point, yeah, yeah I don't even give a shit about that. Android. I want a dick sucking machine. All right. Tell yeah. me about this, though. Okay. So, so this vending machine, it's stocked with cans, but they don't contain beverages. It's oh, like, wow. Yeah. It's like it's, pocket pussies. <laughs> No, no, it it has like a name on it Monkeys and like bottle, man. you know the age of this person and like oh, what they're looking for. No. It's like classifieds. Right? I see what's going on. Oh, it's yeah. classifieds, but in a vending machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Tinder, but it, your result comes on a can. But is it? Yeah, I mean you wait, can read you you wait, read wait, them, wait. and then you, you what do you, you do buy with a can? them? But yeah, are you, you having it. sex with them? No, no, no. So, okay. Is so, this prostitution? So each can costs around... This is going to get extra lame, Gemini. I know 26, where we're going. <laughs> each one of these cans costs like 26 bucks. 26 right? bucks? Yeah. Yeah, but you're buying an experience. It, it guarantees... Oh, no. It doesn't necessarily guarantee you a date. So what you're buying is a voucher for a one-hour interview... Bullshit! ...and advice session with a... Did you, you say people, advice? Matchmaker? Yeah. Okay, with, that's with, maybe with this where I'm matchmaking from. service. But do you actually get to meet the girl during that advice session? It says if Probably you're not. if you are a match, the The lady will contact you? They'll arrange a three hour dinner date for the two of you. But how much does that cost? Okay, so if you want the dinner date Oh no See. That's around ninety bucks. So here's the thing: like a service fee for getting hooked up. It's like just that? basically yeah, twenty six dollars to tell for somebody to tell you you're too ugly to date this chick. Because they're never going to actually arrange that dinner date, bro. Parentheses or a shot. Well, at they it. they will though, because then you have to pay them ninety bucks to go on this date. Yeah, but like, wouldn't it be more profitable just to keep churning twenty six dollar hourly consults? Oh, because like you have to but actually get the girl. To, yeah, but you have to get the girl to buy in too, right? Well, so like just they've already you, bought in because they they like, have to go match, through with it. It's a matchmaking, it's a matchmaking. service. They yeah. both bought in. No, no, no. But like, the girl has to have your approval, or like the girl has to approve Swipe you. Swipe right. Oh yeah. So yeah, just yeah. because the service says you're not ugly doesn't mean the girl's not going to find you ugly. Swipe left. That's true. That's true. It's called consent, bro. <laughs> and here we were thinking <laughs> cans of hot green tea were amazing. I was thinking maybe it should just be warm pocket pussies for twenty six dollars. What do you think? Seems expensive. But, like, it's reusable. You can just save up for your own. So Why have to go to a vending machine for it? So that's... There's another fee. No! Of course there are other fees. That you, that you may have to pay. What? So, may? so this is one of those those things that I want... Nickel and Diamond. Want, ...that I want the Arbiter to weigh in on. Okay. Oh, yeah. yes. All right. So Nickel and Diamond. If things go well... That's the name of my, like, uh, foundry. Or, like, uh, some nickel, kind of shop. Nickel and, nickel and Diamond. Nickel and Diamond. What do you think? I like it. Okay. If things go well and you go on these dates mm-hmm. and eventually you end up falling in love and getting married. Falling. Oh my God. Yeah. And you have married? to pay them money. And getting married. If you get married, then you will be asked to pay an additional 300,000 yen. That's around $2,600. Yeah. Yeah. To the, uh, to the dating Match service. service. Yeah, to the matchmaking service. You owe them. What the fuck? As a successful marriage award payment. What the fuck? Is art. it worth it to you, Burrito? If that really actually no, art, happened art, to you? Art. What's what's your take on this? I think the whole thing's garbage from the beginning. <laughs> garbage from the so, drop. Yeah. Why so did this... we have to get that far? But it's like interesting information, and that's why I'm asking Burrito, like, how do you feel about that? Because I don't give a fuck at the beginning. It's weird to me that they would continue to then but, but think get of the money ultimate, from you. You fell in love and got married. Yeah, like, but... had it not been for them. Because this no, isn't no, no. a marriage service. This is it's, a yeah. matchmaking right. service, you know? And, so right. what are they doing afterwards? Are they tracking you at that point? I guess. I don't know hating. how this is enforceable, but... Just I mean, it's check. probably in the contract, and they're probably trying to strong-arm people yeah. to do yeah, that Yeah, they shit. could probably check public records if you get married and stuff. I see where they're going. I don't like this at all. I don't That's like scammy as fuck, dude. Right? 
Yeah, because you're right. It is a matchmaking service, and they, you know, I met this bitch on a can, and they set us up a three-hour dinner date. That's all that, like, yeah. I was in on this. Yeah, like, like, as I was reading through this article, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Like, that's kind of fun, and, you know... Buying a because can out the of success vending machine, of your dating yeah. life and your marriage had nothing to do with them. No, no, it didn't. Bullshit! Are they coming in and counseling you like every month on like the things you need to do to get married? If that's the that thing, that would be a fucking service. Then that's a right? service, and maybe they could charge for that. But yeah. but to arbitrarily charge somebody twenty six hundred bucks just because you're like, <laughs> oh, hey, I set you all up. You got married. <laughs> hey, I set you all yeah. up. I should be like trying to set money. my friends up, and then like once they get married, <laughs> yeah. twenty six hundred bucks, you bitch. <laughs> I think it was three hundred thousand yen or three thousand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was mixing up my numbers. That was double X Quantum and no, <laughs> say no to the vending machine dating no. service unless it's a warm pocket pussy. Who look the house financial advisors? When you gotta move some weight. Wow, wait. Will it help you diversify your holdings? Flat rate. Always great. Julio gets it done. Call Julio Teas today. Or we'll regret it tomorrow. Julio Teas. And this is the news. Top of the headlines. Headline reads. I refused to fart in front of my boyfriend and end up ended up in the hospital having surgery. Oh, is this a follow-up to that Brazilian chick? It is not. It's in a whole it's another a whole story other of the lady. same situation, oh, guys. Lady. Oh man, they didn't learn. I think it does take some time. Little girl in the middle of the ride. <laughs> everything, uh, everything will be all right. But just I, fine. You, you know, like the first fart is a relationship milestone. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. There's intimacy, you know what? Like kissing, getting your dick sucked, <laughs> fucking <laughs> butt Finger fucking, blasting. all that shit is very, very intimate. But farting is so much more intimate. Am yeah. I incorrect? It has part of your soul and what happens in because that case. It's, yeah, because I mean, it's that is this gonna work? It's like There's you're a, being vulnerable with that person, and it's a sensitivity more to than smell. Than yeah, than and how much yeah. smell you're, does memory? You're forcefully upsetting someone, <laughs> or you could be pleasuring them. Sure, someone could enjoy it, but it's like it's not a common thing to happen. And when it does happen, thing, it's almost always a, an awkward situation. Oh yeah. So to be able to put yourself in that awkward situation with someone else, and then Stay take in that, love? take that, and continue on—that's true love. That's a milestone. <laughs> More so than having sex with someone. He's with love. Yep. And I would say, like, you know, the Any sex stuff is whatever. Guys? I mean, no, that's like relationship yeah, status right there. If, like, yeah. the fart happens. Yeah, you could be asleep with so, someone that never farts around you. And here's then the finally thing. the day comes. When she said she refused to fart for in front of her boyfriend, she's basically just lying to him. Damn. She's not being, she's like, not being herself. She's not being right? herself, and he's never going to discover how rancid her farts are. <laughs> <laughs> so she's not giving him the opportunity to truly fall in love with her. You, or is what I'm saying. You can't give 100% her. of yourself to someone yeah. if you don't fart if you're not farting them. in their mouth. Because literally, you know, the, the fart is, is 90% of the soul. Yeah. Yeah, it's that kind of this smell hole. that's not emanating. It's the, 90% of this hole. The eyes are the windows to <laughs> the farts inside of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why mine are brown as hell. I think and that's how that shit. goes. Yeah. The windows to your farts. <laughs> yeah. The eyes are the windows to the farts. I believe that is the colloquialism around Slam City. <laughs> so somehow her holding in her farts, I fucked up her appendix. I don't know if that oh. didn't really happen. Were you holding in your farts when they took your shit out? No, I don't think so. Yeah. You got your uh, appendix removed? Yeah, A long gone. time ago. Yeah. It was like seventh grade. If you had the choice to keep it, if they asked you, hey, you want to keep this? Yeah. You would In keep a jar? It? That would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. I t got some teeth removed and I kept some. I kept some teeth too. Yeah, man. Yeah. I used to have this rotten ass tooth. You ever had a rotten ass tooth? Fuck, I had a lot like of them painful removed. Painful this, rotten ass tooth. Yeah, this Fuck. week I had a lot removed. What? Really? Oh, yeah, man. a lot. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, and I got an implant. Nice. Yeah, dude. You must be rich. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane how rich I am. <laughs> <laughs> Paralyzed man communicates first words in months using brain implant. Says, I want a bear. Oh, damn. He has to talk like a robot? No, the robot's talking for him. Oh, really? Oh, I see what's going oh, on. So he's got a brain oh, okay. implant. He can't say anything. Yeah. And it's just reading his brain waves. And it right. says, I want a beer. Nice. I and see. some pussy. <laughs> they didn't put that <laughs> Potato chips. Yeah. Dude, I bet he said that shit. 
Maybe. Oh, it says he asked to listen to Tool loud and ordered a curry. Wait, wait, loud the song or like he wants to like hear the volume up. Yeah, oh. I think maybe he wants it up. He's like while he's eating some curry. Yeah, up. do you think yeah. it's red curry or green curry in this case? It's British, Ooh. so it's just red, it's Indian curry. Yeah. So just the brown one? Yeah. Okay. Golden yellow. Did you know curry mm-hmm. is the number one takeout food in, in Britain? Really? Wow. Yeah. Huh. Isn't I did that crazy? not know that, Gemini Jackson. Yeah, buddy. The more you know. The more you know. I believe it. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Great Britain, British woman breaks British. world record for most chicken nuggets eaten in one minute. Jesus Christ. Ooh, did you watch the video? I did. Oh, my God. I watched it too, yeah. Tell me about it, She yeah. just, like, <laughs> inhaled them? Uh, uh, not really. No. She was still proper about How many? It. How many? You guess. 60? And I'll tell you. No, it's not that many. What? You, you can't, can't do what? one per one second minute. for a world record? One you, minute. You can't do one. You're going to be very oh disappointed God. with this follow through. Oh, dude. If it's not more than 30, I'm disappointed. You're already disappointed. Oh, my God. It says three minutes. Oh, three minutes? Yeah. What do you do? Multiply? Oh, that doesn't. The headline says one. No, she the, already, the first record she was three already held a record for three minutes, but oh, okay. she was going for the record for one minute. Are these arbitrary minutes? No, there's are a timer. Are, no, are yeah. these arbitrary, like, records? This is Guinness? This like, is legit Guinness. Guinness? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Legit. Four, four slash blog, four slash one? Yeah, I think so. apparently there was one, like, it's been in contention. Like, there's been a couple people that so have been about this. One, Yeah, no, one because if it's 30... Competitive eating is you, yeah, just like yeah. why Very don't you serious. just swallow them? Well, she's British; she has to be proper. No, you don't I mean, have to. You can get the fucking record like an American. You also got to keep it down. It looked like there was Kobayashi some Kobayashi dipping that shit in well, water and sucking them down. It looks Close. like there there may have been some rules. What are the rules? What, what do you think the rules were? Well, were? well, I saw that she, would, she could only use one hand. It looked like oh, I didn't so you couldn't you couldn't that. be double, double fisting your, your nugs. And that it, seems so arbitrary. It also because looked like she was taking multiple bites. The record is. You got, Most chicken nuggets you in one, one minute. One one glass of water. Yeah. And well, I, you dip your nugget she in. She couldn't. She couldn't. I don't think See? she could dip it. The record is. Eating the most chicken nuggets in one minute, not eating the most chicken nuggets this specific way. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I mean? But I think they put those rules so that everyone does it consistently. Yeah. That's like not eating competition, baby. Yeah, that it is. is competition. No, when you go to fucking Nathan's hot dog eating competition, the only, allowed at Nathan's the hot only dog. stipulation yeah. Yeah. is this one. the only stipulation is you have to eat the bun as well. It doesn't say how you eat the bun. Motherfuckers don't dip in the water and suck that shit down. Yeah, but McDonald's has a brand to protect. There doesn't. It's Guinness. It's not fucking McDonald's. It's McNuggets. It doesn't matter what it is. It's Guinness. Yeah, but I'm saying it's McNuggets, so you gotta there, eat them the, properly. McDo- McDonald's isn't in your fucking face. going to going to Guinness Book of World Records. I mean, they maybe, have to eat it this way. Maybe. I mean, she uh, was wolfing them down, you know. But, but if she can't eat thirty, it seems like a failure to me. It's one in a minute. minute. Yeah. In a minute, thirty. In a minute, thirty chicken nuggets in a minute. Chicken nuggets are significant, and 30 of those yeah. in 60 seconds. So, okay, you have to chew them. Is that a stipulation? You have to chew and swallow them. You have to eat them. Yeah, but you, can't you just can just eat, eat them. And it has to be one at a time. She you did. can eat them. You can just go. It seemed like, it seemed like <gasps> she maybe did. Like, that like, guy who, in your mouth like the guy who it. fucking eats the, the, swallows the pool ball? What? He would wreck shop on this. Oh, and then comes mm. it back up? Yeah. I hate that. That guy. His <laughs> teeth are all fucked up because yeah. he had too many pool balls like, in his stomach. God hits damn. his abs and like... <laughs> <laughs> no. Pool ball. Fuck that. Yeah, that is uncomfortable watching, <laughs> watching that. Yeah, but that guy could eat 30 in, in a minute, and he could be the record holder. No, yeah, probably. Yeah, but I don't think he's like a competitive eater. I feel it doesn't like matter. It's a discipline. It's not the competitive eating. It's the world record breaking that I have fucking this. problems with. Like world record again means so like the when Fosbury we, flop right? When we talk about yeah. let's talk about the Fosbury flop. I don't know what that know, is. Yeah, Tell so exactly. high jumping right? All the nerds used to jump forward. Uh-huh. Yeah, like nerds. Fosbury's like you know what? Let me try jumping backwards and like won the fucking game. He changed the entire sport because he thought about it differently. He over jumped oh, everybody. Yeah. Do it now, and that's how they do it now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're, I'm talking about world records. I'm talking about competitive world records. Remember what we you don't bring do up whatever you take. Yeah. We don't bring it up because you're always like, this is bullshit. Fucking 8,000 <laughs> of them? Just add one more. Let's fucking do Just it. Just do it. <laughs> That's what you should do. That's how you continue That's why she sport. has a world record because no, no one else has done this. No. Because she followed for the rules. No, world record for the qualification. She, no one else. She has a world record because she had some money and she followed some rules. Yeah. What's the rules? The rules is you eat chicken nuggets, right? For it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. judges to say, yes, I certify you did this. Yeah. I, I certify you did this this way. 
Yeah. yeah, but I hate that. Yeah. That's how Guinness <laughs> That's not <laughs> world records. Why would you do the fucking story? That's not world record. <laughs> but what I'm getting I'm at. I'm trying to find fucking champions. <laughs> Is like that's what I wanted to bring up just about this. He brought up at the very beginning. Did you see the video on this? No. And it's like, yeah, just the way she was like eating them didn't seem like she was trying Enjoying to them. get a high number. See, by that's any what means. I'm saying. That's why it feels like such shit. It looked hard, honestly. It did why? Look I don't know. Because it, it's so many of the breading. I think it's difficult to but get them down because of like, the breading. It's crunchy and it's greasy. And if you can dip them in water, like Kobayashi does, and she couldn't dip them. No thing. sauce or anything. Why can't you have sauce? It's that's just how the rules, most people. Man. That's how most people eat chicken McNuggets. Think you need that's standard. how most people chick, eat chicken nuggets if you have is to with come sauce. Up with a baseline of what record I think, to break. If I think, if I'm saying, these are my rules. I think you actually do have to dip it one time in, in nug sauce. Because to me, that is a McChicken mm. Nuggets experience. A follow man. Who doesn't eat chicken dry ass chicken nuggets without sauce? Who doesn't do that? The sauce is the draw. You're not wanting chicken nuggets. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You're wanting without, the sauce without something. Oh, uh, let me tell you guys a story, and it might spoil what I had for lunch. I could think of something else. Sure, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> so I did my curbside, ordered some chicken nuggets, and they forgot. No, they didn't forget. Spicy brown. I did curbside, so they walked out and told me they were out of the sauce I ordered. Yeah, <laughs> but they put some ketchup. When are they in there. not? They put some ketchup in there. I didn't order any fries. Did you say, hey, uh, ketchup's not sauce? No. no, I'm not like that. I just accepted what was offered at that point because I was on the clock as well, you know, just trying to sure, yeah, catch a certain sure. time. Anyways, it's just funny because I could have just been like, could I get barbecue sauce instead? Yeah. And then they'd have to walk back in, get <laughs> the barbecue sauce and walk back out, you know? And I didn't want to put them up to that. They should bring out sauce trays. Like Whataburger does like in Whataburger. the yeah, dining yeah. area. Yeah. Genius. But anyways, here's the awesome part about the chicken nugget ordering story. When I got back to the office to go eat it, I just rummaged around my shit Popped up two bong, hot mustard bong. dipping cups. <laughs> baby, yes. baby, this is why I'm a pack that's rat. Why, that's this why is I didn't why have you to keep eat this. This is why I never throw shit away. This is how I keep my dick wet. By having spare hot mustard spare sauce? sauce packets. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> so back to vending machines. Hell yeah. The future of fast food is a 12-foot square robot vending machine. The Robo Burger vending machine can cook and serve you a burger in six minutes. I love that. Oh, it can cook I love it that. too. That's nice. Yeah, it's a fresh burger from a vending machine. I I'm fine with that. Love that. It depends on the quality though, but also you can start with the gimmick, but I want them to up the ante. If they could yeah. drop quarter pounders and you didn't have to deal with people, I'm all about it. Yeah. I think burgers is a nice, easy leeway into assembly line, yeah. robot thing. Yeah. They got that fry cook. I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, that's right. That flips burgers for uh, White Castle. Yeah. Name's uh, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey Frycook. Jeffrey Frycook. You know, Slam Citizens, Burrito's always dreamed of being a Japanese Asahi beer master brewer, despite not being Japanese and only moderately good at bottling his farts to sell on the internet. So grab a few tall ones and a friend, because in Slam City, no one listens to these headlines alone. This is Burrito's Nippon News. Segment within a segment. Within a segment. Ooh, Asahi is so good. Did you have Asahi last night? No, you had a no, Sapporo. No, I had Sapporo. Yeah, we were drinking. We had some clean. Sapporo. Some first press. Yeah. Ista Shibiro. Good. How do they call it? Uh, uh, Ichi something. Yeah. <laughs> Kirin Ichiban? Um, yeah. We, we had some of that Kirin. Oh, the yeah. the first press is mm-hmm. what they call it. It's the Shiburi. Shib- I can't yeah. Shiburi? I still have that bottle. It's good, though. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Well, if I work for Asahi, though, I might be using a different recipe. Because oh, no. What? Japan's best-selling beer is changing its recipe for the first time in 35 is years. Is this brand new Coke again? I th- it seems like it, yeah. Or are they using better ingredients? I doubt it. I think they are just changing the Are they making the it more way- dry? I don't think they're making it more dry. Is it Asahi Ultra Dry? Mm. Is it Mecca Asahi? No, I don't think so. But some people are kind of upset. They're like, "Why are you? Why wouldn't yours? they be? Yeah. Why wouldn't they yeah. be? The reason you, you buy right. the reason you buy Asahi for thirty-five beer, years, right? Is it because it doesn't have fucking? It's not an IPA. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? We don't need to IPA regular beers. Oh, I see what it is. It says the big change is a switch to late hopping. Oh. So just a change in the process, not the recipe. Yeah, it's... it's I guess that's the recipe. What's that supposed to do? It says it's adding hops later in the brewing process so that Less they have a, a more pronounced effect on the finished more product. More of a bite. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. 
I can see how why people are angry about that because when you drink those kinds of beers, the you don't ones? no 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 these type like a sahi oh, yeah. or like a pilsner mm-hmm. like that type of beer. You're not necessarily wanting a powerful flavor profile. Smooth. You're drinking the smoothness. You're drinking it to complement your food. You're drinking it because you can drink a lot of them. Yeah. But if you add that hops later and it has too much of a flavor, if it's too strong, you can't really do those things anymore. Yeah. yeah. So I can see how they'd be mad about Sticks that. Sticks around. So they, they might... i stick around! It might be interesting if they have, like, a super dry classic. Yeah. Because they're, that's they're, why they're changing their That's why they're changing their formulas, so they can sell the super dry classic. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh-huh. Oh, figured it out! I see uh-huh. that. Uh-huh. I see what... Mystery I, I see you, a Super dry prime. I see you. Yeah, so speaking of... Um, Capital G's. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a new ramen topping at one restaurant. It is a whole ass ice cream cone. Mm. I don't know if you guys saw the. So the cone is oh, the dry wow. ramen. No, no, no. They just take a McDonald's thing and, and drop it in your ramen like a fucking animal. I hate that. <laughs> that doesn't even and look it like just, it's in there. It's it's just like a whole I ice mean, cream. It cone. definitely makes it creamier, right? With but, the yeah, and with, that thing is just gonna get all soft and. I think you're supposed to probably it. eat the cone first. It just Before it gets soggy, there. I yeah. mean, you could let it all sit. That's gross. And the cone would dissolve. Yeah, right? it's supposed to, to kind of dissolve into the broth, yeah. and then That's you what I don't eat like it like thick. that. Or you could just take it out and, and eat the. Or the I could eat it after I'm done with my yeah, ramen. You can yeah. separate the two things. It could like, be like smash your. No, no, no. I could order it after my ramen and not have to deal with it inside my ramen. That's true. Also. Yeah. Okay. But, as but it's the set point up, is, it's like sweet and spicy. So sure. That's that's the thing. Were you trying to bring shock value? Maybe. But Nobody's interestingly shocked. enough, everybody's disappointed. It's st- <laughs> it is still reasonably priced. No, I mean, it's not. They yeah, shouldn't be doing this in the first place. It's, it's seven dollar bowl of ramen. What's oh. the average price there, though? Oh, Ten bucks sure. at least. Maybe it's five bucks, and then you get the ice cream for two dollars. So let me get them separate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but would you eat this burrito? I'd try it. No, you wouldn't. I would try it. Would I'm... you rather have it without the ice cream cone? Okay, so I I, I don't usually eat the the spicy. So maybe with the ice cream cone, it might be... That sounds it's spicy disgusting. for pussies. You know what I mean? It's spicy for pussies. Yeah, that's what it is. And they probably have a mild ramen. <laughs> that's true. I, I probably wouldn't be getting this version anyway. Yeah, you Thanks get for being the mild honest. ramen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm glad we convinced yeah. you <laughs> that this is bullshit. <laughs> capital G. But great capital G. I mean, this is one of those like, huh? No. No. Wait, wait, what do you mean capital G? What is that? Gimmick. Gimmick with a oh, capital G. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, listeners. Let's define Where? capital G. No, they already know. The burrito's the one who oh. doesn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. Speaking of uh, being embarrassed about what I'm buying, <laughs> free anti-embarrassment bags to be handed out at Comic-Cat. What's Comic-Cat? Uh, the largest it, anime convention yeah. in existence. Yeah. Tell me about it. It's like in Japan... Tokyo, they ran out the whole Tokyo fucking megadome. The city of Tokyo. Yeah. And there's, what, hundreds of thousands of people. That's crazy, man. It's crazy. From all over the world. All over the world. Say that word. Yeah, what's that first word what's that going word? on there? And Which first word? Hazuka. Oh. Hazukashi. Hazukashi kunai bukuro. Bukuro. Translates to? Oh, God. Ikibukuro. It says... They make lar- the train Okay, right so now. large blue bags is the bukuro part. Mm-hmm. And oh, is this the brand of the bag or something? No, no, no. It's, a, it's a portmanteau of the word. Hazukashi is embarrassed. Is embarrassed. Okay. Yeah. So these are like embarrassment bags, I guess. What do you do? Take a shit in them and hide no, your no, turd? No, no, you no, just no, no. wear them. When uh, you, over your head? Over your no. anime costume. So, so oh. when, no, you don't wear them over your costume. Oh, no. So when you're at the, at the con... And you're buying your your doshi. Oh, your uh, hentai, your doshinji, yeah, yeah. your, your yaoi, and your. It's just black yeah. bags. They're just no, no, no. Yeah. opaque they're, black they're bags. They're big opaque blue bags uh-huh. that say it on there. That's that, that, yeah. that you're buying porn. <laughs> yeah. It just basically says porn swag. <laughs> yeah. It's a blue bag that says pervert on it. <laughs> like everyone knows what's in it. That's so fucking funny. Look at the model. <laughs> she definitely everyone. likes doshinji. Everyone is that what is it's called? Know. It's like, hey, everybody, yeah. I got hentai in this bag. Is I got boy on boy action in this bag. You know, the funny thing about that, though, it's it's on brand, you know? Yeah. Like, hey, it's, it's nothing it's, to be ashamed of. Exactly. About. It's owning it, which I kind of, I, I like that. Perverse. So I'll give you the pass I think, I think it's great. from a stylistic point. Still a stupid ass idea. <laughs> it's not as bad an idea as throwing an ice cream cone in your ramen. That's we can agree worse. on that. Yeah. That was Burrito's Nippon News. The segment. 
within a second. Food truck fanboys, you haven't lived until you've conquered the crazy one. Intergalactic Boba Runner Booba Get serves you everything in the crazy one. Infinite calories for a not so infinite price. 9.95. Best bring your appetite, cause the crazy one has everything. No substitutions, no. Don't give up your much done cred by asking for no pickles or no onions. Booba won't hold the mayo, because it wouldn't be the crazy one if it didn't have everything. Next time you have a craving for clout that will get your feet wet, find the most badass food truck in the galaxy and order the crazy one from Booba Gets. Abu gets, and I gets it, so get it. And this is what I have for lunch. All right, three clues. What you have for lunch? Start them off with boom chi, Ooh. burrito chi, man of the chi. hour. Boom chi. There's yellow dripped on it. Yellow dripped on it? Yeah. Like mustard? Mm, no, it's cheese. Dripped. Oh. Yeah, there was cheese on it. It's not what I had today. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you, we all yeah. know what we all ate today because hey. we just ate before this. No, okay, so boom chi, yellow drips, boom chi. Boom cheese. Smelly. Smelly. But you not, had not feet? in. Not you had in, feet for lunch? Not in the form that I had it, but it can be smelly. Did you have fish? I did. Yeah, tuna sandwich. With cheese? Yeah. A tuna milk. Oh, a tuna melt. Yeah. What kind of From cheese Quizies? do they use? They use cheddar. Provolone? Cheddar. Interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah. At Quizies? Sharp cheddar? Like the yellow cheddar? Or it was like yellow cheddar. cheddar. But it was, was it sharp? Cheddar. I feel like white cheddar would work um, better. It's not too sharp. They also, it was, it was obviously, it was... Um, Quizies. It's tuna Quiz, salad, Quiz, right? Yes, yeah. It's not just like chunks of tuna? Yeah. Yeah, it's a tuna salad. It's almost yeah. never just chunks of tuna, dude. <laughs> There's nothing else in it, though. It's just like tuna and mayo. Uh, yeah. Sometimes they put like grapes and shit. And celery. I think most people put celery. And yeah. Pubes. And pubes. boiled eggs, like hard-boiled eggs. You'd uh-huh. never know if there was a pube in there, would, there, would you? In I a tuna know, salad? No. I mean, if it like caught a, you just right. Like a tuna pube? <laughs> tuna, tuna don't tuna have salad. pube, dude. What? It could be. Fun fact, tuna don't have pube. Yeah, they do. But what if the tuna <laughs> ate a pube and it was still in their system when they got It would be caught. in their stomach. It wouldn't it be like, like, that's not the part you're like eating. Fins. Or what if it was like oh, a yeah, 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 like flames and shit down there? All right. Down around their cloaca. Lining it nicely. Is that in your top five quiz yes sandwiches? It's one of the ones that I get pretty regularly. regularly? I like tuna yeah. melts. I do. I, I like tuna I sandwiches. Do. I like tuna sandwiches. How about that? I like tuna sandwiches, yeah. 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 I'm not a fan. Okay. Let's see. What did I have for lunch? It was boom chi, fast food, boom chi, Thanksgiving. Something with turkey? It did have turkey, but okay. what kind of turkey? Ooh, oven roasted? No. Was oh. it Arby's? It was not Arby's. It was fast food, but not Arby's. Had turkey. What kind of turkey? It's like like a leftover, like cold turkey? No, no, no. It was cold cuts, but it oh, was okay. kind of, it was a very special kind of turkey. Roasted turkey? No. Mesquite like, smoke? I don't think you're going to guess it. Cracked pepper. Nope. Mm. It has honey? Nope. Mm. It's something that's not that common. So I'll give you one word in this, and it should tip you off, but it probably won't. <laughs> it's tomato. <laughs> tomato. Oh, sun-dried tomato? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. I can see that happening. Very uncommon. Sun-dried tomato turkey. Yeah. So, so what they do, just powder it and then like rub it on the outside uh-huh. and let it cook that way? Yeah. I oh. guess so. All it right. tastes exactly the same as regular turkey. All turkey yeah. tastes the same. Right. All turkey tastes the same. You can't quite like penetrate chicken. it right. Unlike chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah, chicken, too. Chicken. All chicken fundamentally does taste the same, I think. Or it should taste the same. But there's something about turkey where, like, you're right, it's, like, yeah. I guess so dense that in the middle, it's right. all going to taste the same. It's all going to taste like mm-hmm. turkey. Kind of like brisket in a way. Like, you only get that outer edge. Right. You're not going to get deep in there with whatever you're trying to do. Yeah. Well, people inject it in there. Oh, man. That's why you got to slice out. it real thin, and then you, like, rip, it. you rip oh. it up so, you know, you get, like, the Penetrate edges. It inside everywhere and then you yeah. reform it into a, an amalgamation of nastiness oh we're talking oh. about tuna salad no i'm talking about when i have shredded like turkeys. when i make a turkey sandwich you're shredding your turkey when i you shred put it my in? turkey as well what? yeah i must be it gives, on an it island gives of it my a own. little yeah like it gives a volume it gives a volume yeah. i always thought about like i just like to curve them on there to kind of stack it you know I, yeah I, mean? I do that sometimes too but, but you kind of roll them in a way yeah like you fold them fold them fold them 
Yeah. Like I especially do it when I get the pepper turkey. Mm-hmm. Cause, so you can have outside cause it's in. all on the edges. Yeah, I want some of those edges on the inside of the sandwich. Yeah, edges on the inside. Light pro tip yeah. from West Burrito. Over Shred here, your turkey, ladies and gentlemen. If you got that stuff that ain't getting to the middle, just mix it if all you're, up. Hey, if you're making your own sandwich, like you write you know, yourself off yet? Gourmet. Gourmet. Whoa. Gourmet or go home. Make sure you're paying by the pound, not by the package. Jamie like all over that sandwich. Jamie all over that sandwich. <laughs> Boom, G. I mentioned it earlier. Yeah, chicken McNuggets. It was McDee's. There was chicken McNuggets, but there was something else with it that it I don't know if we perfected. talked about it oh. behind the mic today, mm. but we did enjoy it earlier. The chicken sandwich, the premium one? No. We enjoyed it earlier. A, a quarter pounder oh. with cheese? It was a quarter pounder with cheese! Ooh. Yeah, baby. Extra pickles? Extra pickles, no slivered onions, no salt, no ketchup. Damn, leave it girl. at that. Nice. Damn, girl. Hmm. Custom. Yeah. Extra custom. Four customs. While we're talking about what I have for lunch. Oh, yeah. You want to tell us about your first quarter pounder with I, cheese and other fucking yes. ages? Yes. Art got me a, a quarter pounder with cheese. Brand new, fresh, new in box. Custom. And in a box. With tomatoes added to it. Whoa. Yeah, girl, you spent extra 50 extra cents. Did. I appreciated those tomatoes. And we left the pickles off, didn't we? Yeah, no pickles, Ayo. which is nice because I, like, I don't like pickles. So tell us about your first quarter pounder with cheese. How long has it been? How long has it been? It's probably at least 10 years. I mean, it's got to be. Do you remember your last one? specifically quarter pounder with cheese? Do you usually get that at McDonald's? Yeah, Did you? I would usually get okay. that. Yeah, Do you yeah. remember your last one, the experience, what was going on? Was I it just don't like a, remember. Your Forgettable, you say. drive yeah. through that's what you ordered last time you had McDonald's. Okay. And this time... It may have been like, maybe my family had brought some. Like, yeah. my mom would bring home, like, quarter pounders and with cheese and just like... Here, this is what we're eating. I think mm-hmm. we mentioned it mm-hmm. before, but the recipe has since changed since yeah. you had the quarter pound of The cheese. game yes. has changed. I thought the, the patty was good. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was good. I mean, it was thicker and juicier than I remember, I feel like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is a different burger. Yeah. From the rest of the three burgers. years ago. I, I, yeah, that's I too. agree. So, yes. Uh, and a quarter would pound you of eat it again? I would eat that again. Would it I make it into the again. rotation? Or is it like a, oh, yeah, maybe I'll have that. Yeah, it, it's it's probably going to be like... Um, he doesn't seem like a regular burger yeah, dude. Yeah, you're not a burger dude. It's you're too a sandwich, heavy, eh? dude. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how I'm getting. It's like burgers are too heavy for Who's me Who's going to stay ahead? Whataburger with your add tomatoes for free? Or maybe the quarter pounder gets some rotation? That's probably that's the Whataburger. Question. Yeah. See, there's loyalty. I don't, even, I don't even know where there's a McDonald's around me. How do you not? Maybe I, the that's area. That's insane. I'd have to, I have to go get, the, get, get my Google Maps up. There's probably one right next to you. Get yourself the app. Let's play some coupon games. <laughs> yeah, so you can be in on the coupon game. Yeah, let me game. tell you about the coupon game on this, though. That's why I had the chicken nuggets, and it just worked perfectly because I gave up the fry for now. It was like kind of buy the two items. Like, first uh-huh. item you pay a regular price. Second item, 29 cents. Oh, hmm. shit. 29 cents chicken McNuggets? That's 29 cents quarter pounder, dude. Shit, girl. I think they charge you, you for the highest. You don't get to decide. Yeah. I decide. You don't get to decide. <laughs> I'll have a, a $1 Coke and then a 29 like cent chicken whatever nuggets. Whatever second item you get, you know, is going to be lesser value. Cents. Yeah, equal yeah. or lesser value. I get right. you. I but get still, you. decent discount. It is how the marketing works. Worth it. I wouldn't get them separately. That would be like almost double the price, right? Yeah. But anyways, that was what we had for lunch. Last night, I awoke in a sweat, the cravings arising from deep within my loins. The salty taste of her belly, her humid heat warmed my tongue. The soft crunch of that corpulent pancita. Oh, where was I to find a greasy slab of fat to satiate such forbidden desires? Then, I remembered the Farms country bacon. Well, howdy, y'all. I'm Jimmy Thickham, president and CEO. I think of farms. We farm raise our triple C standard hogs to be the thickest and the quickest. All greased up and ready to go. Well, I start every morning with the slickest, thickest trim, fresh from the hog. When you need a slice to fill you up nice, get them arteries pumping and those veins are popping. Thick, thick them. Thick em farms. Thicken Farms Country Bacon is available at the Thicken Farms booth at the Slam City Farmers Market every Saturday and Sunday morning. Not recommended for children under 18 or women who are nursing or pregnant. Side effects include, but are not limited to, sore jaw and fingers, itis, and erections lasting longer than four hours. Ooh, come to Papi Cerda Gorda. 
<laughs> Everyone's entitled to the truth. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Slam City Radio. Get in touch with us through our contact form at slamcityradio.com. We'll send you a sticker, then ask you where you'll stick it. Subscribe, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all day, every day. Scram! I said split! Check the scene, you turkeys! Get out of my house! I'll see y'all tomorrow. This ends now! Oh, shit. Was that too much? Hit him up!